Hey, hey, how you doing? So, React, JS, and Freelance. Is there an opportunity there for you? Can you take React and turn it into a freelance career? Or is React more limited in terms of the job prospects? Short answer is when you're looking at React, good technology, a lot of people use it, but it's typically a corporate library, meaning people who use React, companies who use React are usually established businesses. And that doesn't bode well for freelance developers. You see, when you are a freelance web developer, web designer, or just freelance coder, typically you're going to be working on small projects. Typically you're going to be web. And typically it's going to be stuff that you think, you think is outdated and unused, but it's still very, very popular amongst a small business. On the other hand, if you're looking to do contract work, that's where there's probably a lot of opportunity with React. So what's the difference between contract work and freelance work? A lot of people conflate the two. They mix them up, but they're actually very different things in reality. All right, so what's a contractor? A contractor is somebody who is hired temporarily by a company to do a particular job. So a contractor well, temporary work may mean six months, it may mean three months, it may mean a year, and they may renew it after a year and so on and so forth. So with a contractor, you have benefits of the fact that you're probably going to get paid more per hour for your time as a contractor than you would get paid for the same job working as a full-time employee. But as a contractor, you get no employee benefits like health insurance, like uh, job security, although that's a bit of an illusion. Uh, you know, unemployment, I suppose, if you get fired, depending on where you're working in the world. As a contractor, you are not getting any of the job benefits, but you are getting more money for your time. But there are downsides to being a contractor. Hey guys, this video is sponsored by Porkbun, an online registrar. They offer more than 500 domain name extensions, including .com, .pro, .dev, and .xyz, and many, many more. They have very competitive pricing, and they're highly rated on Trustpilot. So that's always important when you have any company, any service, when you have outside ratings like Trustpilot, that's what you want to look for. And uh, Porkbun has... On Trustpilot, over 9,000 reviews, highest in the industry. So it's definitely worth looking into. Every domain name at Porkbun comes with tons of freebies like SSL certificates, who is privacy, DNS and URL forwarding, hosting trials. This all sounds pretty good to me. All these features and tools are backed by incredible support, 365 days a year, and more five-star reviews on Trustpilot from real customers than anyone else. Get $1 off your next domain name from Porkbun and see why they're the best domain name register around. Links below. Bye-bye. The downside of being a contractor is that you are an employee in many respects. What does that mean? That means you're going to be told what technology you're going to use. You're probably going to be dropped into a group of other full-time developers. So you're going to have a limited role, although some people might think that's a good thing. And you're going to be expected a lot of times to come into work, to show up at a particular time, to work on particular days. So in many respects, as a contractor, you lose a lot of the autonomy that a freelancer would have. So how about a freelancer? What's the difference between a freelancer and a contractor? Well, a freelancer is totally autonomous in many respects. With a freelancer, first of all, uh, you will choose what hours you will want to work. You will choose what technologies and how you implement a lot of the jobs. Not all the times, but you're going to have a lot of freedom in that regard. So when you go in as a freelancer or a freelance contractor, you're probably going to be working for a small company, whereas a contractor, you'd probably be working for a medium to large company. As a freelance contractor, you won't get too many React jobs, that's for sure. That's something, as I said earlier on, that's a technology that's widely used, medium, large companies, although I'm sure there are small companies that use it. But anyway, back to freelancer. Freelancer 
has autonomy. You work when you want, how you want. You start the contract when you want to start it. A lot of times you're going to have a lot of say over what technologies you're going to leverage to implement the job. So for example, maybe you get a job working for a small restaurant. They serve pizzas and they want to put up an e-commerce site. And you're going to walk in. They're not going to tell you to use React. They're not going to tell you to use PHP or to use Python or whatever. They don't know anything about that. A lot of times they may have just a simple website that was built in 2002 and they just wanted it updated. They want it to look good. They want to add new products. They want to add e-commerce capabilities. They want to link it to their social media. You, as a freelance web developer, web designer, you're going to have a huge amount of freedom in terms of how all this is implemented. That is the big difference between the contractor and the freelancer, is the freedom. The freedom of... Uh, well, as I just described, there's so much more freedom in the freelance space, but with that freedom comes a lot more responsibility. You have to define all these things. You have to figure out what technologies to use, what not to use, how to implement it. Whereas a contractor, you're usually, you're usually fit into a slot. Oop, you're like the hired gun. Steph, you're gonna, I've done this. I worked, last time I had a job, well, not a job. Last time I had a contract, it was for a publicly traded company and they had to hit certain deadlines. So they hired me as a hired gun and my job was to implement the help file system. That's all I had to do. And according to their specifications, whether the project, uh, the entirety of the project was completed or not on time was not my responsibility. All I had to worry about was that help system. That was it. I had to coordinate with the translation department to get the help files, keep updating the system according to the new uh, documents that were being sent to me. And that was my job. Whether the app launched on time, whether that date picker worked, whether the subscription service worked, it was not my responsibility. All I had to do was the help system. That's, a, that's pretty you know, low, low, uh, low stress. You know? When I was on that job, in fact, it was apparently a high stress situation. This, they hired me and they said, okay, this is you know, a high pressure situation or a team of developers. And I was brought in at the time, this is in you know, the mid nineties. And I was brought in and I was like, this is easy. They're paying me my money. I'm getting paid for sure. I don't have to worry about anything else except for my little small corner of the job. And that was fantastic. So I did my job and everybody was happy. I got paid. It was, I didn't care about anything else. Didn't have any other worries. On the other hand, if you're a freelancer, you have to worry about everything. Now, yeah, as a freelancer, you have the freedom to fail. You have the freedom to F up. You have the freedom to make bad choices and you find the site doesn't launch on time. There are bugs or problems with this and that other aspect of it. You don't know if the client's going to pay you on time. It's going to pay you properly. Everybody's going to be happy or not. You got to make sure there's a, a good uh, communication between you and the client as you go through the process. So there's a lot more things you got to juggle as a freelancer that you don't have to concern yourself as a contractor. Anyway, I lost track of the whole point of the video. The whole point of the video is React, something you will be able to use in the freelance space. Probably not much more opportunity with React as a contractor and as a full-time employee. Now, what I would suggest to you, if you are learning this stuff, and you've been sold on the idea of React, unsell yourself on the idea. Not that there's anything wrong with React, but you're going to discover as a professional developer, as a professional coder, that the technology is, is just a tool. It's secondary to what you are doing as a developer. Sometimes you might use React, sometimes you might use WordPress, sometimes you might use Python, sometimes you might use JavaScript. It depends on the job. So don't be married to a particular technology. Just go with the flow. Professionals go with the flow. I'm Uncle Steph. I mentor people in the ways of code, in freelance and getting jobs, and thinking like a pro developer. Check out my mentoring program. It is unique in this world, unlike anything you've ever seen. All right. If you have any comments about this video, any questions, feel free to post them below. Hit the like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. The Google algorithm, that's YouTube actually, the algorithm appreciates the likes and the comments, so I would appreciate that if you find this useful. If you hate my stuff, give me two thumbs down to show me how terrible I am. And if you like my stuff, 
Give me a thumbs up and a comment. Say, not bad, Steph. Not bad, Uncle Steph. All right, we'll talk soon. Cheers. Thank you.